Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first running video with the HBI Savage X Flux. Now, as you can see back here, I installed the wheelie bar. I was going to kind of save some of that stuff for another video while I did a bunch of other things, but I think the idea of going out with this truck without a wheelie bar is probably a bad idea. I have two Gen's Ace 6000 milliamp 3S 100C lipos charged up and ready to go. Switched over the connectors to XT90s. Now that did cause a bit of an issue and I'm going to try to do my best to show you guys. The battery trays themselves were great. I love the Velcro. I like the outer door. All that stuff is good. But it does not allow for a lot of room in here. So I'm going to try to bring you guys close. Hopefully you guys will be able to see part of it. You can see right here. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. I had dremeled out because the way the wires come out of the battery... I had dremeled them out so that they could poke through. I started at the top, put the battery in, played with a couple of different ways to see if I could get the battery and everything to sit well. Then I obviously, guys, dremeled at the bottom. XT90s, and this is not usually kind of a, an issue. You can see here, an XT90 takes this much room. So you've got a, a straight, solid part. It's not going to bend. It's not wires. That's not going to bend. If you think of two Dean's connectors now coming together, two Dean's probably don't even take up, well, they probably take up somewhat like an XT90. So what happens is when you get everything in here, I find it's very cramped. This gets a really wicked bend in it, all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do at some point, and that is after I've spent a little bit of time behind the truck, make sure I still super enjoy savages make sure that the truck is exactly what i want i'll probably trim back the wires on those batteries and they will become kind of my savage batteries i do run these in my habao hyper mtx and the mt plus two so i'll have to obviously guys get another set of 3s lipos but i don't, I don't like the way they're crammed in there right now but either way we're gonna go out as usual i say this now in every video it's not ideal condition. It's gloomy. It's snowed a little bit. But either way, I'm just excited to drive this truck. I actually, guys, was going to wait. I was going to completely just hold off, wait till I've got everything done to it before I drive it. But you know what? Um, that's kind of a hard thing to do with a brand new RC. So either way, let's head out and run this beast. All right, guys, we're up at my work. What's nice about being here at this time of year, Christmas holidays, is that the college and university are closed. So there's nobody here. You'll get a few people coming in just to go into the trails and stuff, but anyways guys, here we go. First run with the Savage X. Just testing that servo. It's definitely pretty slow, but being that this is a short wheelbase truck, it doesn't turn all that bad. Conditions, not ideal like I mentioned earlier, but oh well. Well, even with the super slippage, we're still getting wheelies. So far, first impressions are, this thing handles pretty good for being a, again, higher center of gravity monster truck. Now, I am on the RC8X. If you watch the unboxing, I did say that I was going to be running the stock transmitter for the first few runs, but I could not get this thing to behave at all with that transmitter. There's like endpoint adjustments on the transmitter, and I don't know what happened, but I just, I had like normal forward, but then this crazy amount of reverse but it wouldn't engage properly. I would just kind of be, I'd be going like this. I would stop, I'd go to reverse. It would kind of just stay there, not do anything. And then kind of launch in reverse. So I don't know, it was really weird. One thing I will say though, this truck looks amazing driving around. That's why I haven't really done anything yet is I've just been kind of staring at it. And surprisingly, I mean, again, guys, it is pretty slippery out here, but it's driving really well. 
not wheeling too crazy. <laughs> yeah, there we go. But yeah, I'm, I'm so far guys, just really enjoying driving it. It drives really nice and handles really nice. All right, I didn't set the jump up. I've got a nice downhill kind of slope here. We're gonna see how this goes. Nothing crazy. Again, I do wanna bring this truck home in one piece. I wanna enjoy it throughout the holidays. Okay, we're gonna move the jump a little bit that way. But I think this is gonna be fun. We have not touched any settings, no ESC settings. I had adjusted the brake because the brake was at 50%, but the ESC is kind of wonky. HBI's firmware that they've got on it only allowed me to go to 25%, so. <laughs> okay, well this is kind of fun jumping here. Again, we're not doing anything crazy. Not while it's cold and all that stuff, but. Nice. Ah, oh, this thing jumps beautifully. All right, well, take a little bit more speed. Again, I'm not doing anything crazy, guys. I want to enjoy this truck during the holidays while everything's closed. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that is so awesome guys. I've never, I usually can't run here because even on the weekends and stuff, there's always people up here at the library or the gym and there's always just cars in the parking lot. But again, like I mentioned, Christmas holidays, both the college and university are closed. However, I can hear the bus. The bus still comes up here. Let's go for a little backflip. That was pretty effortless. Should mention, still running stock diff, stock ring and pinion. None of that stuff, guys, has been changed. Punch is at five. It's pretty much right out of the box beside the wheelie bar. Oh, that was a close one. I don't know why I'm going back so far. I do not want to land this thing on the pavement. Let's do a small backflip. Oh, that sounded harsh. But we're okay. This thing tracks really good. Now, I should say, guys, again, we're running the RC8X. We've got the gyro up a little bit. Where do we got it at? We had it at 30%. But it's just steering really nice. <laughs> Usually when I'm coming up to a jump, I'm kind of all over the place. Nice. Nice.
All right, guys, uh, I'm going to say this again. First impressions of this truck. This thing drives awesome. Servo is a little slow, but it's probably also what's helped me stay straight leading, lining up this ram. Should mention, guys, I'm not full throttling there or anything to get it to do the backflip. I'm just kind of sort of feathering the throttle a little bit. Oh, look at my body. It's all bumped up. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned at the start of the video, I did lower the body. About two kind of body post little holes. So that's probably about, I don't know, maybe at a three eighths of an inch lower, not quite half an inch. And again, guys, I say this in every video, it's cold, it's winter, we can't send. We send, we break. Even if we land, we break. Land properly, I mean. Oh, my body's up again. Look at that. I thought by lowering it wouldn't happen. I don't know how. We're gonna have to try to figure out something to keep that from happening. Oops. Oh, jeez. Well, guys, I'm happy that the truck, uh, I know this is going to sound wrong, it's still running. I feel like I've just been so um, worried about the diffs that, uh, I don't know, I kind of thought that maybe the diffs would be gone within the first five minutes. Somehow that managed to stay off the body. <laughs> well, running guys, that gyro is awesome in this truck. I feel like I need to just turn it down to full throttle. The fact that it's staying straight, 6S, in these conditions is awesome. But you know what? We're gonna turn it down to zero. <laughs> I just wanted to see if that truck staying straight was all the gyro or partly savage as well. Still not bad though. Should also say that I did kind of snugged up the slipper. I always feel like there's a noise a truck with a slipper makes. Kind of glad I got the wheelie bar on. Whew. 
Yeah. Ooh, that was a close one. I'm gonna miss not being able to come here. I mean, it's not crazy air or anything. It's just, usually my trucks land flat and hard and always break and bend stuff. It's kind of nice being here. I don't know where I went. Oh, there's a pole there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, you guys know I always like to try my little backflips now. Being that the punch is not up. This should be interesting. And we're also going up a hill. Nice. 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 Try that again. Be interesting to try this truck with a set of the uh, Outcast backflips on it. Just to see if it's any snappier without having to worry about upping your punch. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Oh, my wheelie bar is already broke. Guys, oh, that sucks. <sighs> oh, my whole rear skid is broke on it. Uh, you know what? Let's take it to the, uh, I mean, that was kind of a crappy landing. And by now the plastic is starting to get brittle, but we'll take it to the tailgate. We'll see what we did. Truck itself, I think is still driving fine. It's just that skid, the rear skid and the wheelie bar. Or it might actually just be the rear skid. All right, guys, we've got the Savage home. It's back on the bench. It's all cleaned up. And I want to show you guys what I broke because when I first kind of picked up the truck, I thought it had something to do with the wheelie bar and all that kind of stuff, but it was just the rear skid. Right there. Now, you can see the problem is that is the part that also holds the hinge pins on. So it wasn't like, you know, with a crate and the one I've kind of wrecked, the wing mount and stuff like that. I, or even the wheelie bar, I usually just end up twisting it, ripping it off and finish my run because it's already broken. But on the Savage, if you do that, you can see 
your hinge pins there would eventually work their way out. But everything else, guys, is fine. Actually, I think I broke a screw inside right here. So I'll have to, or I am replacing that part too. I've already ordered the skid from Jenny's RC, so I'll have a couple of spares. So, but stay tuned. We're going to get this thing fixed. We're going to get it back out. I absolutely love this truck. The body, just with that gross, dirty background, looked absolutely amazing out there. I was just happy to see it running around. I it just put a smile on my face. The orange and that gray looks so freaking good. And again, guys, I love this body. I know a lot of people, I think every single person that did a video kind of complained about the body and how they're going to be replacing the body. They don't like the squared front end and stuff like that, where I like it. It's sort of got a bit of a Creighton thing going on right here. The headlights and the way this kind of sits, but then obviously it's a lot more square, but I just think it looks awesome. So yeah, guys, I'm very happy with this truck. I don't know what I'm going to be doing to it. I'd like to find parts to fix that. Again, the hinge pins and the skid and all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, RPM doesn't make parts for this truck anymore. They kind of stopped, which is a super bummer. But yeah, guys, I'm going to, I'm going to do whatever needs to be done. As always, though, guys, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and have a great day.